And when you go to conferences and you present your chair and, and the rocking technology, how is, what questions do most say people with more degrees myself and more education, what questions they normally ask? No, it's, it's, it's very interesting. I was at the uh, Ergo Expo in Las Vegas, Nevada, a uh, year, year and a half ago. And uh, so I, I brought along some of our chairs to, to show off. And I had like the tiniest little booth you could possibly have just to have some place to show our stuff. Yeah. And, you know, the big boys, you know, Steelcase and, and those guys had, had acres of displays, <laughs> women in short skirts and all this kind of stuff. So, so anyway, I'm, I'm off in the corner of the thing with a couple of our chairs and people stream past and some people saw. Several people were very kind of stopped saying, you know, this is the first new thing we've seen in decades. Mm -hmm. I thought, well, that's good. And then some guy walks by and, you know, he's he's swarthy and got a little stubble and a ascot around his neck and groupies following him. I mean, he's obviously a, <laughs> an, an important guy. And so yeah. he sits down on a chair and, and, you know, he's he's sort of confused by the whole thing. He's just, it's just, it's yeah. new, obviously. And so he gets up and his wife sits down and she goes, Oh, Francisco, this is terrific. And so, you know, so Francisco <laughs> and I have quite a long conversation. It turns out he's like a god in the world of office chair design. He was on the original Herman Miller Aeron design team in 1994. They've sold over 8 million of these things. Mm -hmm. um, so he's sitting on our chair and he's talking about chair design and, and, and production runs and, and double rub tests for fabric and this and that and the other thing. And I'm talking about anthropology and physiology and then different, different wavelengths. Yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're like we're like from different universes. Mm -hmm. And it's, but it's a very interesting conversation because he is very goddamn smart. He knows a lot about chairs because it's his life. You know? mm -hmm. So um, anyway, so it was a very interesting conversation. I get back to Burlington and I find an email waiting for me and it's from Francisco. And he says, I feel terrible. I spent my whole life trying to make chairs so comfortable no one would want to get up. And now I find that sitting slumped in a chair all day is a catastrophe for, a catastrophe for people's posture, their core strength, back pain, and their metabolic picture. But what do you want me to do? You know, we've, we've convinced people they can't yes. sit without lumbar support and now i cannot sell a chair unless it has lumbar support mm -hmm. you know, so, so the whole back